Rolling these wheels since 1959. Money, money, money. Just rolling these wheels. If these wheels roll, you make money. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, we put God and family first. Bo, tell them. <laughs> Wiley Santa's Truck Lines, we put God and family first. Are you looking for a good company, a company can get you home and you make good money? Then you need to call Wiley Santa's Truck Lines. Blue Cross Blue Shield, hey, you know we still had a $1,000 sign on bonus. We match your 401k up to 4%. We've been in business since 1959. We've been rolling these wheels with money, money, money since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Santa's Truck Line. Come to Wiley Santa's Truck Line. Tell them, Bo. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Line, where we put God and family first. We go to Illinois. Indiana. North Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Arkansas. We're looking for good in-dump drivers. That's right. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. 401k. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dental plan. Hey, these wheels roll, you make money. If you're not driving one of them, you drive. No, we're excited. It is finally here. Drive Appreciation Week is here, and we're live here on our yard. We're right by our driver's lounge. You name it, they're here. We got the sheriff. We got the mayor. We got Mr. Henry from the Cloverland AG. We got all our drivers. We even much got a school here. We got a school here. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let them tell you where they're from. But hey, we're about to get started. We're going to have a good time today. I'm so excited. I'll be right back with my first guest, Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Been at the wrong place, Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. Fellas, where we go? Indiana. North Carolina and South Carolina. Ohio and Arkansas. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, the place that puts God and family first. How long you been driving for Wiley Sanders? Seven years. How long you been driving for Wiley? Six years. How many miles you get a week? 2,500. Wow. How many miles you get a week? 2,700. Are you in the 401k? Yes, sir. Matching at 4%. Yes. Wow. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Are y'all happy? Oh, very happy. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. Here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Welcome to Wiley Sanders Truck Line State of the Art Bunk House. Let me show you. Do you like it cold? Then set it cold. Got the spouse with you? We've got you covered. Sit back in the State of the Art Bunk House and watch your favorite TV show. Relax. Have a good time. After a long day, you can come in the State of the Art Bunk House. And we're back with Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line. I told y'all I was loaded with the guests this morning. The mayor is here. Sheriff is here. Mr. Henry is here. Mr. Henry at Wiley Sanders Truck Line, you know, we put God and family first. That's right. And I want to give you the opportunity to read us a scripture this morning. Okay, good deal. I caught you off guard. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was supposed to tell you. ain't got your phone with it. I got it. You got it. You got it. Because the mail read it now. You I'm see good. him over there tuning the mail read. Let me see. I'm up. <laughs> I'm gonna go no, I don't need my phone. I, I, I got one in me, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go with uh, Psalm 23. Okay. We're gonna go with verse six. Surely goodness and mercy should follow us all the days of our lives, and 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 we should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I think that's a good one. Goodness and mercy. If we fold on that, if we connect with Him, goodness and mercy should follow us all the days of our life. Well, thank you. But you know. When you talk about goodness and stuff, the chef got some good news. You, you're in a new place, ain't you? In a new place. How you like it, Jeff? Oh, it's good. It's nice. We uh, have plenty of room. We had out outgrown our old facility, so. Well, as long as you stay, we good. Well, I appreciate it. I hope y'all will keep me around for about 15 more years. <laughs> you the mayor ain't going nowhere. The chief, you the mayor and the chief ain't going nowhere. Pike County, we do it a certain way down here. But let me ask you this. You know. I think he was joking, but it's too late now. You invited Truck Talk to come in and be live next month. Now, I've already told Justin, so we're going to be live. I'm going to bring some donuts. That's good. We, we like got donuts. donuts in there, too, this morning. We like donuts. Well, tell me something. What is the biggest advantage of you being at your new place? 
Well, the first to, in the sheriff's office is room to be able to spread out and work. You know, with the courthouse was built in 57, I believe, or 59. It was built for a secretary and a sheriff. <laughs> and I think the sheriff had two deputies, maybe. And uh, now we've got 30 employees. There were no investigation rooms, nowhere to interview anybody. There was no privacy, and we just had to get by. So we're able to, to now have recorded interview rooms with audio and video. Uh, deputies have rooms. Our patrol people have their own rooms. People come in, the public comes in and wants to make a report. They can do it in private. And we have the jail. When the jail was built in 1957, I believe, it was built for 40 males and no females. And uh, we have had 120 people in that jail. And so we didn't have the space uh, to accommodate the number of inmates we had. And we had to just convert a cell into female inmates. And uh, we ran anywhere from eight to 15 females a day. So uh, it was just really, really crowded. It was old. Uh, the building was falling in. It was uh, time. It was time. We had to prop it up with steel beams because the foundation had shifted. The architects came in and took off six feet off the top of the jail and then braced it up. That's when the commission made the decision that we had to do something. And, you know, I appreciate the commission's leadership. It's, it's not always easy in leadership being an elected official, but, uh, you know, they did what needed to be done. They did the right thing, and as a result, Pike County has a very nice facility uh, to come to. Well, you said a number, and I'm going to ask you that again because I'm, I'm bad at hearing sometimes. Did you say the deal was built in 1959? That's correct. You know what else was started in 1959? Wow, they signed a line. Well, I'm excited about that. I was about <laughs> Look where we are now. What Look year? where we are now. What year were you born? 1961. All right. 1961. Right. Chef, I done got up there where I could, you know. Both of us. Man, I, <laughs> I love working, though. I love yeah. working. I love all the people and all the truck drivers. Now, in the building of that, you think of how much a truck driver was important, bringing you materials, bringing you oh, stuff. Oh, ev everything at that facility was brought in on a truck. You know, the vehicle I drove here on was brought in on a truck. Guess. That was guests get to the convenience stores, the food, the clothes we wear, the food you're cooking this morning, right. all of it's through transportation. And where would we be, where would we be without it? We'd be clothesless and hungry. Never looked at it that way, but that's a great <laughs> way to look at it. We're yeah, the hungry right. part. I'm real interested in it. But, uh, you know, when, when you think of Pike County and, and you think of the growth, and I know just the time I've been here and the see thing, man, when I ride out there on that bypass, I get excited. Most of the time when I had a man on the show, he know him or asked him what's coming. He said, I can't tell you everything. You got to keep someone on the low. But uh, truly, we're growing. We're we growing are. spiritually, and we're also growing. Um, we just we got all kind of stuff here. And you know, have a bowling alley. Chef, I'm going to challenge. I'm going to get four of my drivers, and we're going to challenge Four of your deputies, when that bowling alley come in, we gon' whatever we, 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 we just gonna do it for a charity. Whoever wins is gonna donate something to some needy charity. That'll That's work. what nobody put in their pocket. You know but, uh, yeah. now it's two, two deputies, you can't have them. Two young ones, your son. <laughs> you can't have your son and, uh, Bean. Yeah, now you can't have them too. <laughs> anything else, I'm making rules up right now. You don't know my driver, so you can't tell me which ones I can have. <laughs> hey, I but that'll be fun. We that sounds good. That, that and, sounds uh, good. And I'll bring four of my drivers. And... Now, Chef, I know you're competitive, man. I love you, but you know I'm to beat up on you, know. But if you keep in score, you know. Uh -huh. If you keep in no, score, not, you want to win. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live right here with Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Coming up next will be our finest, Troy's Mayor. Thank you. Get a great hot shower. Look how nice they are. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we keep it clean for you. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we put God and family first. We've been in business since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401K. Woo, we got the truck. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Tell them, boy. <laughs> Some companies may tell you that the grass is greener. At Wiley Sanders, we know the grass is greener. Been in business since 1959. That's not green. It's not green. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line.
Wiley Sandals Short Line. Now, this is green grass. This is green money. $1,000 sign on bonus. Blue Cross Blue Shield. 401k. We match it up to 4%. Get your home regular. Good equipment. Wiley Sandals Short Line. We do what we say. Come join the best today. You're not just a number. We know your name. Wiley Sandals okay, Short Line. Line. Family. Truck Talk with Wiley Sandals Short Line. Joining us now is Troy Mayer. Mayor, how you doing this morning? I'm good, Jeff. Thank Glad you for having me. Glad to be here. I tell you, here we are, another year of driver appreciation. And man, you talking about some goodies? We got some goodies, we got food, and we're not only going to do this today, we're going to do this all week. And people may say, why have your mayor and your chef? You always have your leaders when you're doing something big. And I, I, I thank both of you guys for always coming and talking to the chef while ago and you're talking about the new jail. And, I promised myself I wouldn't ask you if we have anything coming new. I want you to say what you want to say about driver appreciation. Well, you know, we got a little bit better about understanding during the pandemic how important trucking was. Of course, you know, we've always known. Yeah. Because when you're on the inside, you can you, you have a very clear understanding. And, you know, it would always mean so much to me when we would go into places like Enterprise and other places you know, bringing relief when they had the tornado or whatever happened and, and all the things that we did. You know, and you, and you think about those things on special occasions. And today is 9-11, 22 years ago. All that that happened in our first responders. You know, a lot of that response and coming back and doing things, all of that was about trouble. We think about these special times and we think about trouble. But we don't always think every day, single day, every single day. Some everything the sheriff may mention of it a minute ago. Everything that we got on, everything we eat, everything that we see has been on the truck. I mean, it's, it, it may have been on the ship one time, it may have been on the train one time, <laughs> but it got but on it, that it, truck. It, it got on that truck. You know what uh, amazes me about the truck driver? And I think about it because I used to be that one. When we go to church on Sundays, the average American goes to church, comes back, either takes the wife out to dinner, or either she puts something on the stove or that. I was country boy, mama had us right. warm till we got back. But a truck driver does that. He goes to church, he comes home, he kisses the baby, his mama, and he's gone because he's somewhat to be right. Monday morning or Tuesday morning. So that sacrifice is there. And the next time you sit on your couch watching the ball game, you can imagine, I would hate to say the number, but there's no telling how many truck drivers are headed out the door at 2 o'clock on Sunday evening. When we, that's just one day that I'm talking about, but it's and several abso other days. Absolutely. I see them a couple of times a month. And it, it, it just, it, 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 it always, um, you know, it, it makes me very proud, first of all, that because they they really probably want to stay in the bed and not, you know, until they until the last minute when they got to leave. But they get up and they worship with their families and then they go. And uh, we got a, we got a, we got dozens of people like that uh, that do that every week. And then of course we got the we got the men and women who are out there and, and having to be on the road on something and having to worship, on, watch it on their phone or doing something like that. And it's just. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. amazing yeah, ab absolutely. And that happens every day. You know, we take a week, uh, and, and, a, and a week is certainly not too long. Uh, <laughs> but we, it's something we need to think about every day. And, uh, and I'm just uh, I'm just so proud of, uh, of, of what what our drivers in particular do. Yeah, my friend had a little trip this week, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just want to ask y'all one thing. This is truck talk. You know, when we do live, we do what we want to do. I've been there. Is that not the longest ride back down there? You do what you call Long. That's a long ride. A lot it of traffic. It ain't going up there. You get, oh, yeah. Uh, you, get there, you get your hamburger. You get your Coca-Cola. And everybody just like, but coming back. <laughs> you're tired, you're exhausted, the traffic's awful. <laughs> you ain't real happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Who drove, Chef? Well, we were. We saw each other. We worked together. Oh, okay. Did you drive up there? I did. I did. Come on back, Chef. 
probably faster than I went <laughs> when I could. I, I, I got experience I can show with y'all. I went three times and we lost these times. And everybody in that dispatch told me, if, they, if I didn't mind, please do not go back. <laughs> That's, that's what my son told me yesterday. Don't go back. Don't go back. But I want to say this. I want to thank you for all you do for the community. You know, you're out uh, in the community daily, weekly on this show. Uh, you do the cake sales for the cheerleaders and different organizations, and you know, and we appreciate that. You normally cost me money when you have a cake sale, but uh, we appreciate everything you do, everything Sanders Trucking does for our community. Well, wait a I appreciate that man over there allowed me to, and the Sanders family for having this fun. But those cake sales and all that stuff, it just kind of, when I was man, Mike Amos left. You know, you got a lady that come to you and ask you to do something. She got five kids around her. You old country boy like me know it's just not what comes out, you know. And, but I tell you something that I got to do that I was honored to do. The Tim Collins Award. Oh, yeah. When I realized what that really meant and what it was. And I, I told my wife, I said, you know, little country boy like me, I'm not even. You know, I get to interview them and they was, that, that was, that's a great award. So it is. what I do, I'm learning to love it more and more every day, friend. But you know what? It's easy to be in a town. And I'm not just saying that because I say this when y'all ain't on the show. When you got a town, you can pick up your phone. You can lease. If you can't get the mirror, you can leave it in the middle. It may be 6 o'clock that evening. He's going to call you back. Same thing with you. If I call you, if you don't answer, it ain't but a few minutes later, you're going to call me. Or you're going to shoot me a text, tie it up. Because, you know, you are the town. You are the mayor. So you are busy. That's why we elected you, to be busy and take care of I, I try to answer every time you call. <laughs> yeah, you try to answer. You never know possible. what I'm asking. That's right. That's and look right. here. I appreciate the opportunity to serve. Thank you for allowing me to be your chef. Well, we're going to keep both of y'all. We're going to keep both of y'all. Now, y'all got to make sure you come back with us. You know, that's the big eating day. We're going to eat every day. But we just don't make sure you guys come back. I got to get that man over there on him. And that's we're right. going to talk some also. We'll be right back with Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Oh, Troy, Alabama, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Come drive for the best today. We got Blue Cross Blue Shield. Hey, we can get you home. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Been rolling these wheels since 1959. Money, money, money. Just rolling these wheels. If these wheels roll, you make money. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, we put God and family first. Bo, tell them. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we put God and family first. Are you looking for a good company, a company that can get you home and you make good money? Then you need to call Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Blue Cross Blue Shield, hey, you know we still had a $1,000 sign-on bonus. We match your 401k up to 4%. We've been in business since 1959. We've been rolling these wheels with money, money, money since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Tell them, Bo. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Line, where we put God and family first. We go to Illinois. Indiana. North Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Arkansas. We're looking for good in-dump drivers. That's right. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. 401K. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dental plan. Hey, these wheels roll, you make money. If you're not driving one of them, you're driving at the wrong place. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Troy, Alabama. Fellas, where we go? Indiana. North Carolina and South Carolina. Ohio and Arkansas. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, the place that puts God and family first. How long you been driving for Wiley Sanders? Seven years. How long you been driving for Wiley Six years. How many miles you get a week? 2,500. Wow. How many miles you get a week? 2,700. Are you in the 401k? Yes, sir. Matching at 4%? Yes. Wow. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Are y'all happy? Oh, very happy. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Welcome to Wiley Sanders Truck Line, state of the art bunkhouse. Let me show you. Do you like it cold? Then say. Sanders Truck 
line and I am very pleased to be sitting here with the president of Wally Santa Fe, I'm a great father. And I also got one of the instructors of a great school. And once again, thank you for all the great students you sent them. Thank you for having me. Enterprise State, we're so glad to have y'all down here. And these guys, get to make sure, because I know you got a lady, these guys get to share in a drive of appreciation before they even finish school. They can always talk about this day, Ray. What do you think about that, Bob? I, I think that's a great, great way to start it off. New guys to the industry, man, we need it so bad, so bad. And I, boy, I get excited when I see new, new, new faces on the yard, folks that are just getting into the industry. Uh, I think it's a great way to make a living. You know, if you're not scared of a little work, uh, I think you can make a fantastic living for your family. And uh, man, we need more and more into this industry. It's it's a real good job security, uh, and uh, this company here is, is is ready to take you on. It's a uh, freight. You know, freight in this economy has been a little bit slow, as I know a lot of folks have seen. There's no, you know, no need not to tell the truth about that. But uh, we have fared as well or better than most. I feel like we've been. Truly blessed on having volumes of freight, and uh, and we've been very careful about our truck count. I mean, we want to keep just enough drivers that our freight works good for them, and we don't we don't have guys sitting around and they can't make a decent living. I think it's important to take care of these folks. Your core drivers, it's been at your company for a long time. Uh, we don't want them to suffer, and we appreciate them staying with us. So we just try to run a company that's good for everybody and takes care of everyone. Uh, as best we can. It's uh, some uncharted waters we're dealing with now, as everybody sees this, but uh, I tell you, I'm pleased with, with how things have gone here. You know, so I... I, I, you, I, I you know, you don't like a lot of kudos because you always tell me, you know, hey, I'm just working with you guys, but I just got to take this time and thank you for the... We call it a turn up. We did something with the driver appreciation, but since Trace Walker has come here, we've got bigger and bigger with you. And you're well, going to be surprised this year the things that we've done. We kind of, we we letting you know that we got the message. Well, let, let, <laughs> let me explain something about these truck drivers around here. They're the only ones in this company that do a function that generates revenue that gets the rest of us paid. Them guys earn my paycheck. So I work for them. I take care of them. That's my job. That's why and, we're and here. You know, when you got a president that feels that way, it spreads. It spreads throughout the company. Uh, my safety director, Doug Kitchen, he tells us, and, and we live by it. Mr. Henry just heard me say it this morning. His, I'm so sorry, y'all, but I'm just going to put this on silent because we won't be able to hear. I've been busy this morning, but he tells us that if any driver comes and sees us, for us to treat that driver as if he was the driver that made my paycheck that week. Absolutely. That, that is what he sends off to us. And I'm saying this for you guys. If you come here to Wiley Sanders Truck Line, there's some things that I can guarantee. I can guarantee that you're going to be respected. I can guarantee that you're going to have a piece of equipment to work with. And I can guarantee that this man's office door will never be closed. I spent a month fooling with that looking in there. <laughs> it, never, it never was closed. Well, you need you got to know who you're working with, you know. And and I, I I don't get it. People that sit behind closed doors and try to manage companies and don't interact with their people or know who they're dealing with. I I don't get that style. But I guess if it's worked for some, but it just don't work for me. You know, I like to I like to talk to people and get to know them. You know, that's, what uh, <laughs> You may not tell it if you don't. I'm not going to worry about it. What's that kind of manager that you say you're not real enthused with? Well, that's the seagulls. <laughs> they fly in and do their business all over everything and then fly off before anything gets done. So we try not to have any seagulls around here. <laughs> they just fly in and stay a few minutes. And do their business and fly off. So uh, I'm going to start with this gentleman over here. And your name, sir? Yes, sir. My name is Steven Dignazio. And where are you from? Originally just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Where are you live in now? I live in New Brockton. New Brockton. Yes, sir. Good deal. You at the right company. Your name, sir? Rodney Castleberry. Rodney Castleberry. Where you live at? I live in Enterprise, Alabama. You at the right company. Tommy Alderman. Uh-huh. Where you live, sir? Enterprise, Alabama. Enterprise, Alabama. Now, what made you want to drive a truck? Well, for one thing, it's the opportunities. Okay. You can virtually go anywhere with the CDL. And the second thing is, 
it's it's a good business. I mean, for one thing, the world needs truck drivers. I like you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Dead Don't on, you brother. Don't go nowhere. You stay around here when we get through off this show. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you want to drive a truck? I uh, kind of grew up in it and did it for years in the Army, and now I just decided to get back to it after I retired from the Army and, the, and as a DA civilian, so here I am again. Thank Thanks you for your service. service. Thank you. Well, what made you want to drive? Yes, sir. I am a retired military. Yes, sir. Uh, I had a few jobs while I served in the Army. One of them was in a support platoon with 88 Mike's truck drivers, uh, motor transport operators. I was working on posts at Fort Novacil in Supply and just needed uh, a career change in life. So I'm using my uh, post 911 GI Bill, going through Enterprise State, uh, and I'm looking, I'm working to get my CDL and get out there on the road and start getting after it. Well, good deal. I want to tell you guys. Thank you something. for your service as Thank well. You for your service too. I want to tell you guys something. We have a auto safety director made a training program, the train for AVN is, he made a training program that is so easy to put you in the seat of a truck. That thing stalled off the first week. My trainer is drive that whole week. You sit over there, go through your handbook, watch the roads and learn things. The second week, you drive. Same money, you get paid for every mile that truck runs. Uh, you get to learn and catch on the thing. Then weeks three, four, five, and six, you run it like a double T. We went from a 30% to a 70%. Yeah, it was a retention rate of about 30%. It went up to a little over 70. 70. I mean, it's a it's a better program, but it's a shorter program too. I mean, we thought when we first, I think we had it probably 10 weeks. We had it 10 weeks, but. The structure wasn't as good. I, I feel better about the structure on the six-week program, you know, than on the ten-week. Plus, it gets you your training quicker, you know, um, and it gets you out on a truck where you're making good money quicker, you know, but still being trained, you know, and feel like you're ready. And the thing about it is, guys, if you go through training, that's the thing. If When you get to the end of it, if you just don't feel comfortable yet, let us know. We'll work with you. We'll give you more training, whatever you need. We're going to do whatever it takes to make you to where when you get in that trunk, truck, you're comfortable and, and, and you feel like you can do your job. So don't don't sweat that part of it. We'll, we will help you with that. Okay? That's important. Seriously. And one of the greatest things about driving a bus, all the areas you guys say you live in, we make a lot of freight here. Right here. Do so well, it's, it's 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 close to 50 percent between the lead plant, and the recycling, and the containers, uh, and KW Plastics. You know, we've got five companies here, including the truck lines. Well, the four of those other companies, they produce freight freight out of here. So we're taking, you know, um, processed plastic. We're taking out. We're taking processed lead out. We're bringing scrap batteries back in, and we're also bringing scrap plastic to to the uh, plants back in so you know it, it's a it's a great situation to be in control of almost 50% of your freight so you know it, it's really a great great deal um, I think we fare better in slow times than, than, than other carriers do because that 50% is just us we don't have to share that freight with anybody so <laughs> that's a good thing yes yeah, sir so you know, we're glad to have you. Once again, man, you uh, thank you for coming. You always put out good students here. We appreciate all, that. We always talk about you guys. Ricky comes down there and visits you. I told him a couple of weeks ago, I said, please tell him the prize today. I'm glad you guys can make it. But most of all, I always do not pick it on no school, but I like that you still teach that old shit. That's all we got, man. That's all we got. <laughs> He's just, watch all out, got. boss. <laughs> man, you got a peanut head. <laughs> <laughs> man, he got me a peanut head on live TV. He's the boss. <laughs> hey, he can do that. He can do that. But, uh, man, you guys just keep doing what you're doing at your school. Absolutely. We keep up with it. Uh, my safety director, I'm going to tell you something, and, and, and I'm not ashamed to say this on TV. If we get a school and these students become poor, we move on. Right. And, and y'all guys are just right up there with the top. And when I go to talk about the top, I have to do uh, Jefferson State in Birmingham. I have to do Dean up there in Montgomery. Yeah. I have to do Mr. Davis. You guys 
And, and my dream is to just get it circled there. Yeah. Close people close to home. Because it's easy for me to put a trailer with them. It's yeah. easy for me to get them home. It so y'all keep doing what you're doing. It felt good pulling in. We had one of our former students pulling out. Miss Lisa was pulling out with a load. Look at that. We come in. Look at that. Did we you tell know, you guys, we Y'all hear that? We'll give you a job. <laughs> You know, it's a, it's a good situation, especially when things are, are all going really good. The economy's rolling. I mean, man, you're just you're so much out and back. I mean, you're taking a load out of here, and you grab a load coming back. You know, and that and that gets you home more. And that that is so important nowadays. It's you know, it's the dynamics of drivers have changed a little bit. I mean, they've got their younger. They're, they're, it's an earlier. I mean, a younger group. You know, they have kids, they're trying to play baseball, they want to watch their kids grow up, they want to watch them play ball. Man, I get all that. Totally get it. You know, so we got to work a system that will take care of that. So that's 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 kind of what we've got, is a system that, that takes care of our guys and gets them back home because that has become so important uh, anymore. And I, and I totally, totally understand it. I've heard you say that you don't want a guy to stay out over three or four weeks. Well, you know, I've those wall, you those 11 that. by 11 walls, man, you know, after after a week and a half, so they're closing in on you, you know, <laughs> and all you got is time, baby. So if you got, if you have a little problem or something that goes wrong, you're sitting in that truck, That what does that problem do? It grows, and it just grows exponentially. So every now and then, I think you just need to, you know, come home, get out of that truck, you know, just decompress a little bit and uh, take a break and then get back in. I think it's a healthy practice. I mean, and don't get me wrong, there's some that, that can get out there and stay a month at a time and it doesn't, it doesn't bother them, it works for them. If that's your makeup, great. But if you've got a family and kids at home, you need to get home and see them. I recommend that, so. Well, all right. We've heard from Trace Parker, we've heard from the mayor, we've heard from the sheriff, and now we got the chain of Converse is driving up, so we're gonna take care of him. What am I about to say? We'll be right back with Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line. It ain't cold. Got the spouse with you? We've got you covered. Sit back in the state-of-the-art bunkhouse and watch your favorite TV show. Relax. Have a good time. After a long day, you can come in the state-of-the-art bunkhouse and get a great hot shower. Look how nice they are. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we keep it clean for you. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. At Wiley Santa's Truck Lines, we put God and family first. We've been in business since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Santa's Truck Line, Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Woo! We got the trucks. Come to Wiley Santa's Truck Line. Tell them, boy. <laughs> Some companies may tell you that the grass is greener. At Wiley Sanders, we know the grass is greener. Been in business since 1959. That's not green. It's not green. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Now, this is green grass. This is green money. $1,000 sign on bonus. Blue Cross Blue Shield. 401k. We match it up to 4%. Get your home regular. Good equipment. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We do what we say. Come join the best today. You're not just a number, we know your name. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, family owned. Troy, Alabama, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Come drive for the best today. We got Blue Cross Blue Shield. Hey, we can get you home. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, been rolling these wheels since 1959. Money, 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 just rolling these wheels. If these wheels roll, you make money. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, we put God and family first. Bo, tell them. <laughs> Wiley Santa's Truck Lines, we put God and family first. Are you looking for a good company? A company can get you home and you make good money? Then you need to call Wiley Santa's Truck Lines. Blue Cross Blue Shield, hey, you know we still had a $1,000 sign on bonus. We match your 401k up to 4%. We've been in business since 1959. We've been rolling these wheels with money, money, money since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Santa's Truck Lines. Come to Wiley Santa's Truck Lines. Tell them, Bo. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Line, where we put God and family first. We go to Illinois. Indiana. North Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Arkansas. We're looking for good in-dump drivers. That's right. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. 401k. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dental plan. Hey, these wheels roll, you make money. If you're not driving one of them, you're driving at the wrong place. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. Fellas, where we go? Indiana. North Carolina and South Carolina. Ohio and Arkansas. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. 
Wiley Sandals Truck Line, the place that puts God and family first. How long you been driving for Wiley Sandals? Seven years. How long you been driving for Wiley? Six years. How many miles you get a week? 2,500. Wow. How many miles you get a week? 2,700. Are you in the 401k? Yes, sir. Matching at 4%? Yes. Wow. Wiley Sandals Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Are y'all happy? Oh, very happy. Wiley Sandals Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Welcome to Wiley Sanders Truck Line, state of the art bunkhouse. Let me show you. Do you like it cold? Then set it cold. Got the spouse with you? We've got you covered. Sit back in the state of the art bunkhouse and watch your favorite TV show. Relax, have a good time. After a long day, you can come in the state of the art bunkhouse and get a great hot shower. Look how nice they are. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we keep it clean for you. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we put God and family first. We've been in business since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Woo, we got the trucks. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Tell them, boy. <laughs> Some companies may tell you that the grass is greener. At Wiley Sanders, we know the grass is greener. Been in business since 1959. That's not green. It's not green. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sandals Truck Line. Now, this is green grass. This is green money. $1,000 sign on both Blue Cross Blue Shield. 401k. We match it up to 4%. Get your home regular. Good equipment. Wiley Sandals Truck Line. We do what we say. Come join the best today. You're not just a number. We know your name. Wiley Sandals Truck Line. Family owned. Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sandals Truck Line. Come drive for the best today. We got Blue Cross Blue Shield. Hey, we can get you home, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Been rolling these wheels since 1959. Money, 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 just rolling these wheels. If these wheels roll, you make money. Come drive for the best today, Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, we put God and family first. Bo, tell them. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we put God and family first. Are you looking for a good company? A company can get you home and you make good money? Then you need to call Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Blue Cross Blue Shield, hey, you know we still had a $1,000 sign on bonus. We match your 401k up to 4%. We've been in business since 1959. We've been rolling these wheels with money, money, money since 1959. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Tell them, Bo. <laughs> Wiley Sanders Truck Line, where we put God and family first. We go to Illinois. Indiana. North Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Arkansas. We're looking for good in-dump drivers. That's right. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. 401k. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dental plan. Hey, these wheels roll, you make money. If you're not driving one of them, you're driving at the wrong place. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. Fellas, where we go? Indiana. North Carolina. And South Carolina. Ohio. And Arkansas. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, the place that puts God and family first. How long you been driving for Wiley Sanders? Seven years. Ready to go. We're right here live at Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line, and guess what? The Chamber of Commerce is here. Hey, you know, who was the lovely lady, well, I talked to two lovely ladies, that was telling me that y'all was coming, but my good friend back here, he's always talking about ties and stuff. Before y'all give us all these gifts to the drivers, tell him something. And I know I'm getting old. I forgot to bring it up in with me, but I still have it. That's for you. so much. I appreciate That's it. That's for you. Thank you so much. You know why you got that? Why is that, sir? Because every time I see you dress me. <laughs> I like a deep dress. I'm trying to be like you. I, I, I like first to be dressed. Thank you so much. But um, I'm going to let everybody give their own name, their own introduction. We're going to start right here, ladies. Dana Sanders with Pike County Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Sheila Jackson, City of Troy, Public Relations and Tourism. Willie B. Williams, Jr., City of Troy, PR and Tourism. Dan Smith, City of Troy, Parks and Recreation. 
You know, Mr. Dan will always love me because I took two pies on the top of the head for that bill we got. Yes, sir. We had a good time, dude. We appreciate that too. Very we much. had yes, a good sir. time. A lot of y'all don't know about that, but we rolled those spin bars. I won. I won. I won. Now, what we're going to do is you guys was nice enough to bring us bags. And I have a young lady over there, and she's going to let our drivers come and get these bags one at a time. Come on down. Ain't that how they say that the price is right? Come on down. Give me your name, sir. Ronnie Seal. Ronnie Seal. We're glad to have you here. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm, Next. I'm hungry, too. We shall do. Come on down. All right. I like you, sir. You just a smile. And what's your name? Stanley Adams. Stanley Adams. Where are you from, Mr. Adams? You want to come up here, B? Birmingham, Alabama. You see how we do it in Pike County? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Come on down. I sound like you preaching. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> I ain't say, ah. <laughs> Sheila, quit now. Your name, sir? Bradley Phillips. Bradley Phillips. Mr. Bradley, it's, it's definitely good to see you. Man, you know, some issues you went through with your health, and yep. you're a living witness that we serve a good God. Ooh, what you say? Huh? Yes, we do. I mean, because at one time it looked dog, didn't it? But look at you now. Mm. Look at it. It was death. Uh huh. Ooh. Now it's all living. Oh. I, you know, I won't preach to y'all, but that's what Jesus this told when they asked him about Troy, coming Alabama. to see about Lazarus. He said, all yes, sickness. Ooh, that's a death. death. That's right. You know that, don't you? All right. That's what you say. I'm going to alone before I get happy. Thanks, <laughs> now. You're welcome. <laughs> that's my man here. Good morning. He got Hello, a Corvette. Bro. You know, he got a Corvette. I like to be with them Corvette. Damn, Your you name, sir? Willie. Look at that. He told oh, what right. kind of car he had before he told his name. He said, 71 Steve. Yeah, I love my car, man. I love my car and I love my Harley. What are you going to do, right? What kind of Harley you got? I got a breakout. A breakout. See, if you come to Wallace Center and drive, you have a Corvette, a Harley, you have all that good stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's rusty. Yes, sir. Come on down. Don't be afraid. Closer, you'll probably come to hit the lottery. Good morning. Been here for 10 years. You've been here for 10 years. Okay. Driving for 23. Driving for 23. And this is the best cook I've been with so far. And I ain't even telling right. him to say that, y'all, but I got to get him to say it one more time, huh? Make sure you get it right. Say that again. This is the best company I ever worked for. And you been how long? Ten years. Ten years. Yes. You've been driving for how long? Twenty-three years. So if you'd have been driving, you wish you'd have been driving here for twenty-three years. Exactly. Get you another bag. Y'all move on. <laughs> twenty-three years. You know, people hear me say this and, 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 and they think I'd just be saying it to be saying it, but I drove a truck. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like. And I tell people this every Monday morning when I open my orientation class, the first thing I say, and I say it from my heart, if you can't drive a truck at Wiley Sanders Truck Line and make a living, I'm worried about you in the truck Well, look at that chicken. Don't that chicken look good? Can mm -hmm. okay, y'all put the camera on that chicken a minute? Just, just, just you know, let's kind of turn the camera to that chicken. Whoa! He grilling it. Mm -hmm. Some chicken dies so we can live on. Sweet baby Ray. With sweet baby Ray. <laughs> hey, with that what on them? Sweet baby Ray. Sweet baby Ray. I don't know what kind of sauce he gonna put on. But every time I see you, you always smiling. You always at the rig. Yes, sir. Always got a book in your hand. Well, I gotta keep notes. Uh, you keep want? Notes so I don't forget. And I said, that's a man that's keeping up with what's going on. <laughs> Try it. So tell us something exciting you got going on over there. Well, we're just uh, starting soccer and youth soccer and flag football tonight out okay. at the Recreation Center. And uh, started tackle football this past Saturday. We're ready to play volleyball. We got a pickleball league going on. Okay. And, uh, also, we're helping the chamber no and, shoes in that and Sheila and oh. Willie B with the homecoming parade. Mm. And uh, that, that's why we wanted to come see y'all today and, and, and talk so about So what would a person or a business need to do? Let's tell them while we're live on there if they wanted to get in the parade. I'm going to let Miss Dana handle that What part. would they need to do, Miss Dana? You need to go online to pikecoc.com and sign up. It's free registration. There's no cost at all. We just ask that you decorate in the theme, which is T is for Troy, or just a regular Troy University theme. Okay. What do you do with that, Miss Sheila? What do you, what do you do on a parade? You saying? 
No, just look. I just just whatever they need me to do. That's it. That's what I've been doing that a lot of years. Yeah, whatever they need. Whatever Miss Dana say, that's what I do. You know, when I think about the recreation department, <laughs> I think about me. Cause I can't swim. Uh, and I know y'all teach swimming lessons. Yes, sir. Yes, Don't sir. you put me with your best swimming instructor. I ain't going to for nothing. I'm going to sure. play. Sure. But I want you to put me. But you got to tell him my schedule is wild. Yeah. You may have to work with me. Well, you, you know? Can, we can do that. <laughs> we can do that. Work with me. Do you forget how to swim? Because I used to swim. I mean, I was just the best swimmer, but I hadn't swam in so long. Do you forget, Dan? I don't know, but I check it before I got the water. Like riding a bicycle. Okay. Like riding a bicycle. Is it really? Yes, it is. Somebody told me that if you just hold your breath, you'll blow. Huh? Is that simple as that? Well, it's pretty much so, but it's, it's, it's not as hard to learn how to swim as a lot of people think it may be. And our indoor pool is only four feet deep. So when you're standing in the water, you're like here. And so, so when they go to the bed, just stand up. Don't right. panic. Yes, just stand yes, up. yes, yes. So, so we got some great uh, instructors, and they know how to teach uh, uh, adults and, and children as well. Really? Yes, sir. I'm going to get with you. I'm dead serious. I'm going to learn how to do it. Everybody needs to learn how But, um, when we talk about the parade and we talk about Troy University <laughs> and the growth that we've had, it's amazing. Yes, sir. <coughs> Just set that down a minute, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. But, when I look at the Rick Center and I look at the University, it has to be some good leadership. That's right. Things that happen had to be from good leadership. Right. Well, we're, we're blessed in, in the city of Troy. Uh, Mayor Jason Reeves and the city council do a tremendous job. And you got people like Sheila and Willie B in place. And Dana just works so great with the chamber and in uh, all organizations. So it's just a privilege to be able to work with all of those people. And that's, you know, you saying that that's what Sheila told me. So we just going to work together. That's, you got that's both of them. You got we to. Got to. Yes, sir. I, I think I read someone said together we stand divided, we fall. Amen. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. We're a fun group. Please. Huh? We're yeah, fun. I don't like y'all yeah. fun. Y'all the line. We all so, get along. When y'all... <laughs> When it's a little down and a little quiet, does she love to hit a note to pick y'all up? Yes, she does a great job. Sing for it, Sheila. <laughs> you took my line, but that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Well, I just want to say this morning to um, just to everybody. Um, I mean, today is 9/11, and if you just take a minute to remember, um, uh, to remember what today is. A lot of people died, um, you know, for our for for us, you know, going into buildings and stuff. So we just th th this morning we just want to say thank you to their families and everybody, and we remember today. So um, uh, I'll do a little bit of. Uh, Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains' majesties, above the fruity plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. From a sea to shining sea. <laughs> I want to tell y'all something. I've been to, I think that was my first Catholic wedding. <laughs> but I went to a, a wedding. And when the song came on, and I know they said this is a country bunker right here. Because I said, that's Sheila. And everybody was looking at me. I said, that's Sheila. I knew it was her, but she sung, what was that language? Ave Maria in Latin. She sung it in Latin. But I knew her voice, and I looked, and I twist, and I turn. <laughs> so, one my wedding. Before I called her the next day, I said, don't you never let nobody let you sing when they can't see you. <laughs> I like to turn, but she told me she was up in the in bathroom. The bathroom. Mm -hmm. I've heard you sing a lot of times, but I'll say this again. That was so beautiful, Thank that you. language. Uh, I got a chance to hear Celine Dion sing mm -hmm. one time. 
and uh, she sung the song. I mean, I didn't know what she was saying, but it was beautiful. Yeah. But when you talk about America, yeah, okay. and the things that, that has been done, and the ones that have died for us, it, it, it brings you right back to the driver. Uh, when you talk about these gifts, it brings you right back to mm -hmm. the driver. Everything that we move, even during the pandemic. Yeah. And I like to look at things that some good come out of. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about the pandemic, the good that came out of the pandemic was the truck driver. Mm -hmm. Still trucking. Was elevated a little bit. Don't keep on because rolling. These folks didn't have no water. That's right. They didn't have no rice. They mm -hmm. didn't have no cereal. Yeah. I had my drivers calling me, actually. People, when they realize they need you, sometimes yeah. they feel a little nice. That's why we should be nice all the time. Mm -hmm. I had drivers telling me, man, they, they had water for me. They had dinner for me. Uh, some places we were going through the call, they were asking us for the driver's number because they wanted to talk to the driver mm -hmm. and get him in there at night because they want about to take the stuff off the truck. Uh, as long as trucking keeps moving, America moves. Yeah. And, and that's what you're saying. I mean, we all make a part of it, but that truck driver puts them where we can reach it. What's that suit where you can go put it on? Put them shoes and see. We got to have our shoes. You know, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we got to be looking good. We gotta have and no matter where you go, you're going to see Wilder Sanders truck. Wherever you, you go, you're going to see Wilder. one anywhere. But I want y'all, I want to introduce y'all to somebody. Mr. Henry. Come on, Mr. Henry. I want y'all to introduce y'all to somebody. I'm going to show you how Pike County love spreads. <laughs> so we spread in Pike County. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do it? No, he's good. Okay. You're right, Mr. Henry. All right, all right. All right, Mr. He got a good tone to it. He, he, he got a slide by you. Okay, come now, on. Now, I met Mr. Henry through the radio show, you know, Wallace Stan was coming off that tower with a 106.3. Mm -hmm. And every morning and every Monday, I read a Bible scripture. And Sometimes I be want somebody else to give me one. You know, I don't want it all to be about me. So I start saying, you know, hey, if you got a Bible scripture, send it to me. I'll read it. Mm -hmm. My phone number's old book, so I left it out now. Well, Mr. Henry called me one day mm -hmm. with the scripture. <laughs> and we was connected through that because after one conversation with him, I realized that he loved the Lord. And so last year during Driver Appreciation Week, he came down. And he came down this time, and I just wanted to show him, you know, I, I'm kind of bragging. You see, I had the mayor, I had the sheriff, You're doing pretty good. then I had somebody can sing. Yeah, I mean, I then got I had you. A man on it. Yeah, then I have this lady. I got, I got everybody here because we got it going on down here in Park County. Tell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my granddad would say, us got it going on. Yeah, I'm on TV. I don't need to say that. We. <laughs> 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 but these three, these are individuals in this county that does things. Sheila's involved in a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing to go in the store during Christmas time, and she's sitting in there singing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's a blessing to see y'all do what y'all do and mm -hmm. support the Wallace Sanders. Yeah. I mean, you see y'all the color, the, 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 the chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. So, we, you know, thank God for what all y'all do, and I ask God to continue to bless you all mm -hmm. and all y'all do for this city. Yes, sir. And the most thing I want to say is, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm country, but I was looking for some <laughs> little brown paper sacks. And look at this. Look, you had those in the truck, the coolers. Yeah, you had a little cooler in the truck, please. Mm, from the, from the chamber and the city, working together. From the chamber and the city, mm -hmm. working together, together as one. As one. It's all like a marriage, yoked together. Ooh. As one, huh? Ah. Y'all yeah, know I can thank that for it here. That was a brown and pause for my wife. I ought to be in good shape when I get home. Yes. I ought to be in good shape. Let me speak to my darling wife, Miss McCall. Good morning to you. Y'all want to speak to Hey, Miss McCall. Y'all want to speak to somebody else? Hey, you beautiful to queen. You want to speak to somebody else? You might have a friend. Uh, I don't have nobody. Hey, though. Yeah. Speak to your girl. Speak to Okay, hey Gabby, Patrick, I see to my kids. Good morning. Well, hey Monique. All right, Monique. I used to have a uh, a pastor that used to say every time he'd get a guest speaker and he'd sit there and he'd be rocking and that speaker would be thanking everybody and he'd be finna leave. And this old pastor, <clears throat> nah. And if he didn't catch it, he'd get up and he'll say, you know. A man doesn't preach like that. He needs to go home to peace. 
He said, Doctor, speak to your wife and thank her for coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she that's, said, a good one. that's a good one. You know, he, always behind all of us is another significant one. It's, uh, it sacrifices for the time that we have. I know that's your right. wife makes that's sacrifice. Right. Your for the time that we have to go do these things, go do this. And I, I stay going, but I think it what keeps me going. So everything that y'all do, we like, it helps me. And we appreciate it. If they don't say it enough to y'all, Brad him from Wallace and the Trump Line, thank you for what you do. 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 And thank you for what you do and sing. We're going to thank you for two. Just to look at it, so we ain't got about five minutes. One more time, because we really want people to know. What is maybe a number they could call if they wanted to be in the parade? 566 2294. The parade is October 7th. It'll start at 10 a.m. in downtown Troy. Downtown Troy. Speaking of downtown Troy, isn't everybody excited about downtown Troy? Mm -hmm. When I leave service on Thursday night, I always go through the square and it's always full. I like our little square, the little corner like that. That is cool. It is nice. Uh -huh. That is nice. It is nice. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. And you know what else is nice? Having so many businesses and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I heard the bomb hours. You couldn't get in there this weekend. It was packed. Was there? No, I just drove by. You just drove by. Have you been? Yes, sir. It's been. It's hard to get in, but it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Have it's you been? Yes, sir. Oh no, dude. Oh, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Have you been? The bomb house. Mm -hmm. Bomb house with hooks everywhere. See <laughs> 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 what you all about. But you know. But y'all think about it. Y'all finna sit in till my eighties. I got somebody up here with me that'll say this. Think about eating in Troy 15 years ago. Think of your choices 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. And look at your choices now. Mm -hmm. A town that doesn't grow restaurants mm -hmm. is like a church that don't have babies in it. That's right. It's dying. Mm -hmm. When you hear them babies crying in that church, that church growing. Mm -hmm. A town that's growing in restaurants, I mean, they're growing. Job, food, people getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got anything else they want to say? I Just how many more minutes I got? I got I'm one. I'm gonna say this. Say it. I'm a Troy Trojan. My wife, because of my wife, she graduated from Troy. Okay. Um, and that's one of the things I would tell anybody. They got one of the greatest college down here. Oh yes, sir. Because I mean, I'm thankful for what they even did for my wife and my family with mm -hmm. the education system. And, She's a Trojan, so that means I'm a Trojan. That's right. Greatest chancellor, uh, greatest that, chancellor that too. That statement, they got you on the books for next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, got you, they got you penciled in. If we didn't have you, we're going to pencil you in. Hey, we want to thank everybody that came by this morning. I won't get the name and names because if I do, I'll forget somebody, then you'll be mad with me. Until next week. And don't forget, next week we're going to be at the new Pike County Dale Chamber of Commerce. Y'all need to come one more time. Chef is going to give us a tour around that we're going to set up something sort of like this. And we're just going to show people that, hey, Pike County is on the move. And I'm going to tell y'all something real fast. Like, when I go to school, I don't just sell wildlife service truck. When I go to a school, I ask, are you buying a house? Hey, Troy's got good schools, good restaurants, good people. You may just want to move there. If they don't have a home, they're not permanent. No one. I'll be trying to get them to move here. I'm not afraid to offer my town to somebody. I, th I think that just much of it. The people that I know they will meet and contact and, and play. And, as old folks, you say in high places, will be good people. Uh -huh. So I sell my town to them. All right. And uh, I had two of these. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you, so you a tie. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Until next week, this has been Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Please be good. Please pray for us. We'll pray for you. Until next Monday. Next Pike Monday. Courthouse, court where we'll be, the new jail. We'll be there live in color. Bye-bye. Happy Monday. Remember, 9-11. <laughs> How many miles do you get away? 2,500. Wow. How many miles do you get away? 2,700. Are you in the 401K? Yes, sir. Matching at 4%. Yes. Wow, Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Are y'all happy? Oh, very happy. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama.
Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Welcome to Wiley Sanders Truck Line State of the Art Bunkhouse. Let me show you. Do you like it cold? Then set it cold. Got the spouse with you? 